is not whom that many people believe they are, such as the so-called Jews in the nation-state of Israel that we so see before us right now. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. So when a pig walks up to you, or a pig gets to jive with the people, you'll be so organized, you'll be learning some tactics, you'll be learning some revolutionary principles, you'll be having some guns hit out somewhere, you'll have some proper tactics. This is what amazes me. This is brand new. This is old. Mm-hmm. This is not new. The shooting in the back, that's, I, I thought that's what white people... I thought that's what they did, shoot black people in the back. I mean, if you run a make on them, and and you'll see them doing that for a long time, this is no big deal. It is very important that you understand who the true Hebrews are, because that end-time prophecy, lots of it, surround these individuals. I know exactly who I am, but it seems to be the one group of people in the world that have been by the rest of the world tried to be dumbed down to the fact or completely erase their history uh, from history is the African American people so called that are scattered throughout the nations. Now, we're a new system, brother. We need a new system. The people need a new system. Exactly what I want to say. I've been acting. I've been acting like I like you. I've been acting like I like a lot of people. Now I can be honest. I, I, I don't like you. I don't. I just run who I don't like. You know, I don't even like me. I don't even like my white blood. I hate me. I look in the mirror and I curse me out. <laughs> How does one I'm free now? I'm the freest black man on this planet. I can stop acting. All this time I've been acting like I like white folks. How do, I, I can I, tell I, them to their face I don't like them. I, I can tell them that their hair, when it gets water on it, they smell like horses. I can tell them that now. literally translates to house of bread. Bethlehem is thus a reference to the constellation Virgo, a place in the sky, not on earth.
13th Amendment reads, slavery is abolished except when you are found guilty of a crime and go to jail. So prison is the slave plantation. All right, we here for some jive conspiracy. You know what we gonna do? We are going to defend ourselves because you ain't seen Newton said that power, power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act in a desired manner. tried to ram a four-inch piece of cloth gauze into his mouth. Three marshals held his head. One marshal held his nose so that he couldn't breathe. And the fifth marshal attempted to press against his mouth with all his weight. This gauze that all of them resorted Bobby bleeding profusely around the mouth and the lips as they tried to jam this piece of object into his mouth to silence him. I feel there's this revolution. I feel free about the people. I'm going to stand against it. We'll have a black army, Mexican American army, an alliance in solidarity, we'll have a progressive white, all of us. And we're going to march on this big white country. We're going to say, stick them up, motherfucker. We come for what's ours. Melanin is a neurochemical that is produced in part through the pituitary and the pineal gland. They both play a central role in the production of melanin, which is ultimately responsible for the color that we have in our skin.
well, let's criminalize pretty much every damn thing that we do. There are over a million laws on the books now. Who needs a million laws? Unless you want to control people's behavior. The police presence has always been in the black community because we are prisoners of war. That's number one. The original police were created to catch slaves. They were slave catchers. There was no need to police a white society. Stop shooting, stop shooting. We have a pregnant woman or pregnant sister in here. At that time, I was eight and a half, nine months pregnant. My baby was to be delivered in two weeks. Pigs kept on shooting. So I uh, kept on hollering out. Finally, they stopped. They pushed uh, me and the other brother by the uh, kitchen door and told us to face the wall. Heard a pig say, He's barely alive, he'll barely make it. I assume they were talking about Chairman Fred. But then they started shooting the pigs, they started shooting up, shooting again. I heard a sister scream. They stopped shooting. The pig said, he's good and dead now. The pigs running around the land. Look 
like Trayvon, it is awfully calm for a father. themselves represent a small percentage of the population under correctional control. Like today, there's about 7.6 million people under correctional control, but only about 1.3 million are in prison of that. The rest are on probation, parole, and jail overwhelmingly for, you know, minor nonviolent offenses and crime. are involved in their genetic survival and they are threatened by black male masculinity then it will occur I have to reduce his masculinity 
Yeah, we just recently had the president at Morehouse have to say the male students cannot wear high heel shoes and dresses and carry purses. So something is happening again within the total context of a system of racism and white supremacy. Neely Fuller, who wrote the uh, textbook for victims of racism a number of years ago, in, 19, in the late mid-70s, he used to say in the system, because he was the first person to talk about racism as a system, and he said that as the system of racism and white supremacy moves on, the system is going to have black men wearing dresses. Now, to hear that in the 70s, people said, oh, this is way out. And here we are. You see, there's some black pediatricians who are saying we are developing epidemic levels of the effeminization of young black males. Well, I say the pants hanging it, sagging down, is just a subconscious invitation for homosexuality. Thank you. 
Hit. That was an Academy Award performance. And can we please go over my lines now? And I can see if I can do that. I'm going to see if I can try. You know what? I think you're absolutely right about that. There's so there's so so little distinction between the left and the right these days in Washington. I'm not sure there's a left and a right anymore. There's just a middle. 